Hello everyone, today I will uh, tell you something about uh, Camry 2018 and uh, new year model even on uh, Lexus Hybrid. So on this car I have issue with the P26CB71 engine coolant pump actuator stuck. So we will uh, open the water pump and we will show you the water pump. Uh, the, to know what's wrong with the water pump. The cost of water pump is too much from uh, uh, company so we will confirm the problem then we will replace uh, the water pump. To remove the water pump first of all you need to remove uh, alternator uh, very easy only uh, two bolts on the alternator then you need to remove the connectors from the water pump and uh, there is another connector uh, not for the water pump but uh, uh, but uh, it, but it was placed on the water pump so you need to remove that connector then you uh, remove uh, three bolts for the water pump and uh, uh, two bolts for the thermostat uh, behind the water pump After you uh, remove all the bolts, you can uh, easily remove the water pump from the engine. Uh, there is another bolt uh, uh, underneath water pump, you need to also remove that. Uh, now you can see the propeller inside the water pump. We will uh, check what the problem with the water pump. Is it actually actual water pump problem or uh, anything else so so you need to uh, grab any screwdriver then uh, try to rotate uh, water pump propeller if water pump uh, propeller rotates that mean uh, your water pump is uh, good you need to check other items like wiring and uh, computer uh, engine computer uh, let's check the propeller on uh, new water pump On new water pump you can see propeller can be rotated easily but the old one uh, propeller is uh, unable to rotate which means uh, the code is uh, correct water pump has been stuck off uh, so now we will replace the water pump then I will show you how you can uh, remove uh, air from the coolant uh, from the coolant uh by uh, by active test the water pump you need to uh, you need to uh, turn on water pump with computer so now the water pump has been replaced now we will erase the code and uh, then we will uh, go into the active test uh, i will show you how uh, so the code has been re uh, erased now we will go into active test uh, then we will search for the water pump, the uh, coolant water pump. Uh, switch uh, need to be on. Not uh, engine uh, should not be start. So you need to top up all the water, uh, please remove this pipe uh, so the air will come out after uh, you top up the radiator, uh, uh, put back that pipe, uh, then we will uh, turn uh, a water pump from the computer. You need to turn on and off uh, a few times until all the air come out as you can see uh, 3000 RPM. Uh, now I will turn on. As you see the water uh, has been rotated and uh, now it requires more water so we will add more, wa more water uh, and we will turn on and off uh, water pump a few times until all the air came out from the coolant system <laughs> yeah. 
now the air uh, come uh, comes out now we are good to start the engine thank you very much please subscribe to my channel